Well, despite uh, Coach Peterson saying this is a win for the Philadelphia Eagles, I, I'm told it, they are going to play. They are going to play. The Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles are going to square off and play this week. Uh, that got all the headlines, Buck. Personally, I don't care. A coach thinks his team's going to win. He says it. Good for him. I have no problem with it. But this is going to be a fun matchup to determine supremacy here in the NFC East. Oh, it's a fun matchup because the Dallas Cowboys radars and antennas are wide open. They're up. They're ready. They heard Doug <laughs> Peterson guarantee a victory. And that might just be the spike that they need to get back on track. This is a Dallas team that three weeks ago, I was saying that they were a Super Bowl contender. They were able to run the ball. They were playing well on defense. They were running and chasing and making plays. Something has happened in the last three weeks. I think this is a good get-back game. Whether or not they have Amari Cooper on the outside, I don't think it really matters. I think the recipe for them to win is a lot of Zeke Elliott and a little side helping of Dak Prescott. I look for this offense to get back on track. But more importantly, look for Rod Marinelli and Chris Richard to get this defense back on track. They were embarrassed a week ago by letting the Jets run up and down the field with Sam Darnold. I don't think... They are going to allow that to happen to the Eagles. Look for them to play much better. Um, I like what the Cowboys are bringing into this one. A lot of motivation and determined to get back on track. Yeah, I look at it from the Eagles' standpoint, and it's been lost in this season because they haven't been winning as many football games. But Carson Wentz has been playing at an elite level. Um, this is not an offensive issue with him. They're moving the ball. They're actually getting a little bit of the run game going. You're seeing Miles Sanders show you a little bit of what he can do on a weekly basis. Jordan Howard, you know, is going to run hard. Haven't been healthy at wide receiver. There's been some drop passes. Uh, but I've been very impressed with the way Carson Wentz has played. I don't really have worries about them on the offensive side of the ball in this football game. I think they're going to move the ball. I think they'll score points. However, you flip it over to the other side, and this is a team. They had 10 sacks against the Jets. I believe they've had only four sacks in the other games total. So they have not been getting after the quarterback. And when you can't heat up a quarterback and your secondary is a little depleted and, and lacking in talent, you're getting torched in the passing game. And I think, look, Dak Prescott, for all the heat that he takes, I think he's actually played pretty well. And I don't think they've done a great job of supporting him. The offensive line has been an issue. Uh, to me, this game comes down to whether a defensive line for the Philadelphia Eagles that's been disappointing can go up against a, a kind of a battered offensive line for the Dallas Cowboys. It's been a little disappointing. Who wins that matchup is going to determine who wins this game. Yeah, I think this is all about ball control. I think the, the stat to watch, the most important stat to watch, not only turnovers, time of possession. When the Dallas Cowboys own control of the ball more than 30 minutes, that is when they win games. They have to win the time of possession. I think this has to be a game where Kellen Moore, Dak Prescott, understands we need to slow the game down. We need to dominate it. Maybe play a little UVA, a little Virginia basketball, control the clock, round and pound them, allow their team, that big offensive line, to kind of wear down the Eagles in the fourth quarter. If they do that, they win. I think they do do it, and I'm going to go with the Dallas Cowboys for the win. Yeah, I think this Dallas Cowboys team, man, you talk about having a sense of urgency and borderline desperation. When you've got a head coach who's had to hear about calls for his job after they mm -hmm. just lost on the road to the New York Jets, I think this is a motivated team, and this team shows up. I think we're going to see the best we've seen from the Dallas Cowboys this season. I think the Dallas Cowboys get a win at home, and I'm going to say they put up, I think they could put up 28, 31 points on this uh, this Eagles defense. Mm. I think it's a 31, 28 type ball game. I'll go with the home team. I'll go with the Cowboys. No, look, I agree with you. I like it. All Cowboys.